So hey Gina, I'm just going to open your files now and take a look at your problem that you were running into when trying to create some UVs. Uh, you sent me on two files and that's fine when working in very simple scenarios but it's a better idea really to work within a project. So I'm just going to create a project here and say new new project and potato project and I'm going to dump it out onto the desktop just for now. It will create all these folders for me and that will actually be quite handy in the long run. Uh, so now I need to go and grab your files. So I'm going to grab these two and I'm just going to jump over to the desktop and I keep the files inside in the scenes folder. So I'll just put them there and I'll press command and O or control and O on a PC and there's my data file and it opens up within the project for me. So there's lots of advantages to setting up the project correctly at the start. So here's the model, and uh, it looks nice and neat. And we need to try and take a look for your UVs. Now one thing I'm gonna do beforehand, and I mentioned it just in the, in the Slack chat, is you've got a lot of different nodes here, and these are all the things you did while modeling. And you can, in theory, go back and edit those, but often we don't need to, particularly with models. So I'm just gonna come in here, and I'm going to go to Edit, Delete uh, by Type and History, and it's gonna get rid of all those nodes. It's gonna bake the vertex information where it currently is. And that's generally a good idea as we model, it kind of cleans up as we go. So uh, let's take a look at the UVs then, which is what you're looking at in this case, and it's where your error is coming from. And there is some UVs on your model. Uh, we would probably prefer to have flatter UVs. I can check how the UVs look. It gives me a, a checker, kind of a check texture, which is this kind of checker guy here. And you can see that we are getting some okay UVs on the front but it's starting to stretch and do kind of funky things on the side. Uh, so what we need to do is add a planar UV map. And I'll explain some of this stuff slightly further down the road, but it's good to be uh, playing around with it now. You have, um, what we want to do is stick a texture on and we want to stick it on from the Z axis. It's just this guy here. So let's go to create and I'm going to open up planar option and bounding box, project from Z axis. Yeah, all that looks good. Click apply. And you see what happens to our checker map. Now it's a little bit cleaner and a little bit easier to read. Okay, so that seems to be working for me. And if I was to go and just take a look in my, well, it has worked, so I, I don't think I've thrown an error, but let's go to my script editor here. And yes, there's the planar project working just through here. Okay, um, so, it makes it tricky to troubleshoot the problems that you're having now because I haven't got a repo scene or I haven't got a reproducible file to work from, right? Um, now, there, that makes it tricky to, to troubleshoot the exact steps and the exact problem that you're having. And ultimately, uh, there is some possibility that it's a software issue or a hardware issue. Unfortunately, I hate to tell you, nine times out of 10, it's a user error. And it's very, it's very hard to know the exact steps that you're going through to create the error that you're getting but perhaps by watching the video that I'm recording here and seeing the steps that I went through um, then you might be able to reverse engineer a solution this model is accepting UVs and they are the UVs and they're not bad UVs for, for this particular model uh, I'm gonna quickly just while we're here I'm gonna quickly go and throw an image on to uh, the the tato bag so at the moment I'm using Lambert 1 and I don't like to use that one at all. So we need to go and create another new material and I'm just gonna put a blend on it. Um, and we could rename that to Tato underscore SHD or something like that. And I need to go and grab an image of a Tato bag. So if you give me just one second, I'm just gonna pause this for a second. Okay, and we're back. And I'm just, I just grabbed something from Google very quickly. I'm gonna take that texture and I'm just going to put it in here so there we go there's our tato guy and there's my model here's the shader I created I'm going to go to the color attribute click on the checker go to file to load in a file from disk click here and again the advantage to me setting up the project is source images is where we store our textures and the shader uh, is where we put our textures so it knows to open up in source images and there it is right there and there you go. Now, if it didn't appear for you, you would need to hit six on the keyboard to make sure it appears, and that shows textures, and that's a little gotcha that catches everybody. Okay, so there is a Tato texture. Uh, it is the incorrect size, so I could go and scale the UVs, 
And let's take a look at doing that. Where is my UV editor gone? So I could go and oh, just turn off our checker. And I could go and grab my UV shell here. And I could just whoop, scale him. There we go. And the other way, let's hold the other way. And there you go. So now, and that'll be reversed on the other side because we need to split this, the UV shell. Okay, so we'll take a look at UVs in a little bit more detail further down the track. But that would give you maybe some ideas to try and play around to solve your problem. Um, UVs are and textures are not necessary for this particular project. So it's not written into the brief that it needs UVs, but it will be something that we'll look at uh, fairly shortly. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to help with your specific problem because I can't, I can't repo the, so I can't, it's not a reproducible error on my part. So I don't know the exact steps that you're going through, but hopefully this video will help uh, if you can see the steps that I've used.